Hello friends and welcome to a new lesson in our Sunday school. Today we are talking about something that all of you and me are a part of that is our family. We have been born into a family. It is our family that teaches us the first lessons of everything whether it is love, faith, reading the Bible, worship, living together, morals and how to behave in the society. All these things are taught to us first within our family. We are here because of our families. Whatever we are is because of the lessons and the values that we have gained first from our own family. Today we shall learn about why did God create families and what does he expect from a Christian family. Let us begin with a prayer and then we we'll look into Bible passages and learn from it. Let us pray. Lord, our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have set us in families. You have given us a family to love and be loved. Master, we pray that as we search the Bible, you will speak to us through your word and we will become stronger and more loving in our families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us begin our study on the Christian family by looking into various writings of Paul. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 4 and in Colossians chapter 3 verses 18 to 21. In both these portions, along with various other things on family life, Paul stresses on the fact that children should obey their parents. This is the first command that God gave his people along with a promise that if children obey their parents, they will be blessed. Everything will go well with them and they will live a long time in the land that God is giving them. Parents are also instructed to bring up the children in love rather than provoking them to anger. And also Paul instructs the parents that it is your duty that you bring your children up with instruction in the Lord. You should bring them up as Christian children, as children who grow in faith. This is something that Paul says are the parents' responsibilities. Paul also instructs wives to submit to their husbands, husbands to love their wives. And he says that husbands and wives should love each other out of reverence for God. Reverence for God should be the inspiration for them to have love and reverence for each other. We see in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, God creating the first family, bringing Adam and Eve together, joining them together as man and wife. And then because it is God who has created the family, God has to be the center of the family. God gives various instructions to the family for them to follow. What is God's intention behind a Christian family? Number one, God intends that every Christian family should transmit the Christian faith. God wants every Christian family to transmit that Christian faith from one generation to the other. Let's look into Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 5 to 7. There we see that the Israelites are instructed that they have to love God, fear God and also pass on the faith from one generation to the other. This will be a great witness for the people around those places to see and follow. The Bible has many examples of very loving families which are a model for us today. For example, let's look into Job's family. Job Chapter 1 shows how Job had a family where everybody loved each other. We see Job's children, brothers and sisters always coming together to celebrate whatever God had given them in their lives. We also see Job after the entire cycle of celebrations are over. After every cycle, he would offer sacrifices and ask God for forgiveness just in case his family has done anything to displease God. So we see a loving, caring family. A family that is worshipping together and a family that asks forgiveness from God for everything that they do wrong. We also see another example in the life of Moses when he was a baby. In Exodus chapter 2 we see as a baby 
Baby Moses is always protected by his family. We see his mother hiding him from being killed. And his sister Miriam also does her part to watch over the baby so that that baby is safe. That shows that how much a Christian family should value the life, value the life of each and every person, especially of this baby. In Genesis chapter 45, we see the family of Joseph coming together. Joseph, who had been hated by his brothers, estranged from his brothers, finally meets his brothers in Egypt. At that time, Joseph doesn't take revenge on them. Rather, he loves his family so much that he starts crying. He hugs his brothers and he is reconciled with them. So we see how a family loves each other, forgives each other, celebrates together and can live together as a worshipping family. Secondly, as a part of a family instituted by God, God has certain intentions about how each Christian family behaves with others. What does God intend? How does God intend us to behave to others? Firstly, God wants us to become families that practice hospitality. We have to be uh, ha we have to have an open heart to welcome others into our lives. We see that in the example of Abraham. In Genesis chapter 18, we see Abraham has three strangers visiting him and he welcomes them into his home, provides food for them. And because of his hospitality, Abraham's family is blessed. God wants every Christian family to be kind to others, especially with those in need. We see that in the example of David. David, after he has established his kingdom and his family, he searches for people for whom he can show kindness. Especially he searches for people within Saul's family. You have to remember that Saul had in between hated David very much. And Saul had become an enemy for David. But yet David loved Saul. And even after Saul passed away, David wanted to show kindness. So he found out one son of Jonathan, Mephibosheth. And Mephibosheth was a crippled fellow. But David welcomed him into the palace gave him food and showed kindness and Mephibosheth was allowed to eat from the king's table every day for the rest of his life. So we see how David showed kindness towards others and every Christian family is supposed to become a family that shows kindness to those in need. The Bible also reminds us that every Christian family should have reverence for God so that that will become an inspiration, a model for others to have reverence for God. When we respect each other and when we have our reverence for God, people around us of different faiths, of different cultures, they will see that as an example to follow. So let us recap what we have done till now. A Christian family should have God as the foundation and the center because it is God who has instituted families, started families for us. Prayer and worship Family prayer and worshipping together in church and at home should become a part and a priority of our family life. God expects the values of love, reverence to come from every family for God. He expects every family to transmit the faith from one generation to other and also to the people around us. He expects every Christian family to become a fellowship of love, care and hospitality for others. We are living in a world where there are so many factors that want to disintegrate Christian families. And in the midst of all this, if we have to remain strong as a family, we really need the grace of God. And we really need to follow our Christian faith and practices to be a strong family. It is said that a family that prays together, eats together, worships together, will always live together. And that is what we need to hold very strongly, very dearly in our heart. If we can pray together, worship together, eat together, we will always live together with our families. A Christian family home will become a loving home, a caring home, a sharing home, a praying home, a home that worships, a home that has Christ as the center. May God bless all of you so that your families will be blessed by God.
you will be a blessing in your family you will be blessing in the community around you let us conclude today's lesson with today's memory verse taken from colossians chapter 3 verses 18 to 20 colossians chapter 3 verses 18 to 20 there paul says wives submit to your husbands as is fitting in the lord husbands love your wives and do not be harsh with them children obey your parents in everything for this pleases god thank you for listening to today's lesson let us end with a word of prayer lord our loving heavenly father we thank you for the lesson we learned today we pray that our family would be blessed help us to be a blessing in our family and in our community in jesus name we pray amen thank you god bless you